how to copy data between Business Central and SQL Server using BCCL. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the main feature of BCCL version two, uh, the ability to copy data between Business Central and SQL Server, either, and this is SQL, this is whatever variant of SQL Server we're talking about, this is whatever variant of, of Business Central, Cloud or On-Prem or Dark or whatever, um, the ability to copy data between the two in a fast and predictable way. Um, so let me let me show you how. Um, so BCCL, as the last two letters CL, means that BCCL, BCCL is a command line tool. So you can either just type commands in a command line, as I'll do here, or BCCL can be even better embedded into scripts or call from other systems. Um, but I'm just going to use the command line here uh, in a sort of interactive way. Anyway, you can see I have a, a, a I have a SQL server running, and and on this one I have a customer table with some sparse data in it, uh, three records. I want these three customers imported into my Business Central. Um, so let me find my command line, uh, and just you know, just like in. Uh, in the TV kitchen programs, you do a bit of preparation before that. And uh, I have started out with the most scary command. And I'll, I'll show you in a second or a couple of minutes how this, I, I, how I came to this command. So I'm just gonna tell you what it's doing. So this one is calling BCCL and telling what is the URL to my business central. In this case, I'm just, talking with a, a Docker instance, but this could have been a uh, you know, cloud production, cloud sandbox, a on-prem, any any variation of, of Business Central. In this case, because it's Docker, I'm just using a simple username password connection to it. Uh, if it was cloud, this would be uh, OAuth, of course. Um, then I'm also telling what is my connection to the SQL, the SQL I'm working with here. And this is just a local host, SQL Express, and there's a database and a username and password again. And I then use the dash dash remember command. Uh, and the dash dash remember is to tell BCCL that, okay, no reason to put these parameters on the next calls. I will remember them for you as long as we are working here. And then you can use a dash dash forget uh, to remove them uh, when you're done. So now these uh, commands are, are remembered and I can I can ask BCCL what, what task can you do? So this one will call into, uh, and I did it wrong. So if you do wrong, it gives you the uh, the list of all the parameters. I need to tell it dash T to, to execute a task called tasks. I do that and it, it gives me all the stuff in those and there's a lot to delete all delete data get data uh, get a mapping file mass update post purchase post sales put data run code units find the table and task which is the one we did right here so the one i'm interested in is the one called put data so i want to put some data into business central so i do bccl that's t i want to do a put data task and um I want to, then I do a dash S for setting and tell that the table is, is table 18. Uh, we can see that that, uh, that that put data has a table parameter. Uh, so I, I need to tell it that. Then I need to tell that the format I'm coming from is SQL because BCCL knows many formats. You can, you can get data from uh, uh, XML, from JSON, from CSV, so TSV, from Excel, and now also SQL. So I need to tell what, what is the format. And then actually I need to, to tell, to give it a mapping. Uh, so in this case, uh, actually let me delete one, I just want to see. I got a, a, f a file, also pre-made here, called uh, it's a JSON file and it has mapping information. This one is telling that we're interested in four fields. From the business center perspective, we're interested in field number one, two, five, and seven, number, name, address, and city. And from the other side, the non-business center, in this case, that will be SQL. Uh, so the map name points in case of a SQL uh, statement, that points to a column. If it's 
uh, CSV read in it. It's the name of the column in uh, as, uh, as specified in the header record. So I got an no dot name address and city. Funny enough, the same field. It also tells me how I want to do validation. I, I want to validate everything as if this was typed. So with that information, I can actually do this again. So I'll do task put data setting table equal 18. Mapping is my customer mapping. Uh, and I'm going to put the, uh, the, that the format is equal. You, the order of, of parameters are actually doesn't really matter uh, here. Uh, so I know I typed them in a different order last time. So now I know where to put it. I know how to, what columns I need, know the format. So the only thing I'm missing here is actually to get the data. So the dash i is the input parameter. And normally if this was any of the file-based format, you would specify the file name. In this case, I'm simply gonna specify a, uh, a SQL statement, a select statement. Uh, and this select statement will get way more columns than I need. Uh, and, and right now I'm lazy, I'm just gonna use the, uh, the all column syntax because the mapping file will select the columns I need and ignore the rest of them. So with that in mind, I hit enter. And we can see that the result is table 18, three records inserted, none modified. So if I go in here, I have my customers. Uh, it's that easy. Um, so that was getting data in. So let's try another way of getting data out. Uh, and for that, I want to go stay inside B Business Central and then I will look at the BCCL request builder because I know that all this can be a, uh, intimidating, a bit intimidating. I think that that's right. When you know, I run BCCL and there's a, uh, the, there's a page full of, of commands and parameters and stuff like that. Um, so we have the request builder inside Business Central to help you actually create these things. And uh, rem remember the remember command. So this one will tell you what could a, how could a remember command look uh, if we want to do a basic connection, how will a rem remember command look if we're doing OAuth, and how would it look if we're doing uh, a service to service OAuth authentication. Um, so it will help you. Um, but let's actually, let's get some data from from Business Central into SQL instead. So, so in this case, now we will do a get data. And how are we make this interesting and, and grab table 17. That's bonus point, if you remember, that's the deal entry table. And we could define a view and say what a filter, uh, so do we only want the records added or modified within the last days or whatever. So we can build a filter uh, if we want to do this. Um, but we'll just get get everything. Um, but the problem here is that if I go to my SQL, then we can see that I really I don't have a table to put this in. So let's go in here and then create a mapping file because we we need a mapping file. Uh, and in this case, how about we just get every single field um, so we'll hit this and then we can export a sql create table statement so now we got a sql create table statement so if i go back here and i right click on this one new query um, and then I just need to open the file we just downloaded. Hang on a second. That looks like this. So BCCL was kind enough to actually build a SQL statement that created the, the business central table. Uh, and it built the primary key and everything. So this is just ready to go. We will run this.
And now we have a deal underscore L underscore entry table. We have all column matching the fields we have in Business Central. Okay. Um, but in order for that to work, we also need to get, we just do export selected fields. That will, then it will create a mapping file. So in the case of the, the customer, I opened the same thing on customer, but I only selected those four fields I wanted. Uh, I can put in the name of how I want the, the column to look in, in, in on the non-BC side of things, and then I'll get the, the, the file out of here. So I think with all this in uh, done, we can go and say BCCL task go oh, get data setting table equals 17 mapping is I think this file was the file we um, so we got where we want we want we need to tell the format is sql and then we need to the output parameter and the output parameter is normally a file name but in this case since we are now with sql output is the table name so g underscore l underscore entry that's our table name so we get the get data from table 17 using this mapping using sql into this table and I think in uh, in the demo database of uh, of Business Central, there's thirty five hundred um, records in the uh, GL ledger entry table. So this will take a few seconds. Uh, and I should probably have something smart to say here. Perhaps this is a great uh, time to tell that uh, there's a link below uh, where you can go and, 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 and read more about BCCL. There are other videos on, on what it can do um, and uh, and you can try it out. Uh, the trial version is, oh, the trial version is limited in how much data you can do. Uh, we can see that we've got 3,525 records inserted. That took not that long. Uh, so if I go here and I create a new, no, I, I think it, I can actually just go uh, select top. How about that? So now I have all my GL ledger entries from Business Central. I know from Docker, but anyway, from uh, from a Business Central, might as well have been a cloud uh, in my local SQL database so that is bccl using uh using sql i think it's pretty cool uh i can tell that that we are using this ourselves in in cases of of data conversion where we're converting something comes from a sql database somewhere and we need all that data into business central uh, and we could build a big big script that trans take all the tables do the transformation with the with the mapping file and then it's very predictable it's just one big script and we can run it again and again if we need to um, take a look at the link below and uh, let us know if you like it thanks for watching